do a little bit of a different video here today. The program I'm using is not as good quality as the one I wanted to use, but the one I wanted to use just wouldn't record the audio in the same time, so I ended up giving up um, and just completely throwing that one out the window. So you are going to have to, unfortunately, deal with the little um, program I'm using box right there. Other than that, let's get this video kicked off and um, let you know what it is. So what it is is... This is how to burn free Dreamcast games, so you can get the games totally free off the internet, how to burn them, and they are self-booting as well, so you don't even need the Utopia boot disk for this. Um, you're going to need two programs installed on your computer. Uh, the first one you need is the WinRAR program, as you can see it's installed there, and the second one you're going to need is Disk Juggler. Uh, this, I'm filming this video in full screen, so if you can't see the writing, um, if you're not watching the video in full screen then I will put the links to all the pages and the programs that you need in the description anyway so um, save you having to watch it in full screen sort of thing so once you've got that installed um, with this juggler the download you can get you can get a free trial and obviously on the torrent sites you can get the full program with the free trial it comes set to the minimum settings and those settings are the exact settings that you need to burn the games um, in the self booting format perfectly so I suggest if you haven't got the program don't get the full one because you need to do all the settings and that get the free trial it is unlimited using um, but only with the minimum settings as I say but they work absolutely perfect so the first thing you need to do is obviously check to see if your Dreamcast does run these um, these games. And the way you do that is to see if it is manufactured before October in the year 2000. Um, some people say it's the year 2002, um, but if, that, if that's wrong then I don't want to say it in my video sort of thing. Because I know people that have tried it with ones that are manufactured in 2001 and it didn't work. So the two ways you can check to see what year yours was manufactured in is the sticker on the bottom, I think it tells you the year on the bottom on there. If it doesn't, the way the easiest way to do it the way I do it is unplug the Dreamcast at the mains and then when you plug it back in it will prompt you to put in today's date and the uh, the time. Before you enter today's date, it's already got a date set on there. That date is the year um, that the the Xbox, uh, sorry, not the Xbox, the Dreamcast was manufactured. Um, and my one was made in 1998, so it is clear uh, that my one runs the copy games. After you've checked that uh, and you've got those two programs installed, you want to go to your Internet Explorer, or your browser, sorry, I should say, and then you want to go to this site, DC isozone.com that is dciso.zone.com again it will be in the description so um, go down there if you if you can't see the writing up there um, this is the home page to the site and as you can see this is all the new stuff that's come out this week that they put on the site front covers new uploads new magazine covers that sort of thing um, and then as you can see down the side um, in the navigating bar you can see that they also do C uh, Sega CD ISOs Sega Saturn ISOs PS1 bleamed games, these are PS1 games that um, will work on the Dreamcast but unfortunately you can't save them on the Dreamcast VMU so they are, are unsavable. Um, you've got the homebrew games which are games that people have made for the Dreamcast and then at the top you've got the Dreamcast ISOs, that's the one you want to click on, the ISOs. So once you click the ISOs you see all these and every one of these is a game. Um, as you can see at the top they're all alphabetically listed um, so if you want to go direct to a game, for example Shenmue, then you just go on S or, or, or whatever, locate the game that way. If you're planning on downloading a whole bunch of games um, and you haven't got any preferences to what ones you want to download and you just want to download quite a few, then obviously go through page to page and just download the ones that catch your eye. Um, that's what I did. I mean, I've got a massive collection now. I was just going through the ones that I had never played before, the ones that were quite rare and got them that way. So say we want to download Daytona USA 2001. That's the game of our choice for today. Underneath it, it will say image format on every one of them, and the image format here says CDI in capital letters. That is the program. That is the format that you want it in. It's always got to be CDI. Up here, you can see it says CDI in small letters, and down here it says it in big letters. That doesn't make a difference. It's the exact same file. It's just it's written in capitals. Underneath that, it says self booting, and you want to make sure it says yes. Otherwise, if you obviously self-explanatory, if it doesn't say yes, the game will not boot itself, and you need the Utopia boot disk to work with this. Um, but the big importance is obviously it being the CDI because you're burning it with Disk Juggler. Again, you can see over here the exact same game, Daytona uh, 2001. This file here is an NRG, so as I say, it won't burn very well with the um, Disk Juggler if at all. 
so most games that are on here are in a CDI format if it's if it's a, um, in another file. For, for example, Jet Set, NRG, and then they got it over here, CDI. Dave Mirror, NRG, over here, CDI, and so on and so forth. Um, if it doesn't have, if it's a game you want and it doesn't have a CDI file, I'm pretty sure you can still burn it, but again, you will need the boot disk. But um, I'm not saying you can, if, in just in case you can't. So Daytona is the game we're gonna we're gonna be doing today, for example. So you click on that game, and the first thing you'll see will be the description of the game, uh, like the information off the back of the case, and, and a little bit of Wikipedia information. Underneath that, you'll see again the file image. The image type, sorry, is a CDI, which is correct to the one we want. And yes, it is self-booting. And here is that the uploader to the site, the, the guy who uploaded this game to the site. You scroll down, and you've got a rate and share box. As you can see, this game's had over 18,000 downloads with a plus 24 thumbs up rating in general, which means it's a good, strong download. You scroll further down, you've got the comments box. This is useful information that people put on there sometimes uh, in case it doesn't work, in case it's in Japanese or like it's just telling you the sort of thing. However, this one person here has put, I've tried three times and it doesn't work. And then the guy underneath this put, I got it to work on a Dreamcast, but I burnt it using alcohol 120. Every single person, that every single game that I've downloaded and someone's put it doesn't work, I've downloaded it myself and burnt it with Disc Juggler and it worked first time every time. So don't be put off by what they say because um, 90% of the time it does work if it's a CDI and self-booting. I've never had a problem other than that. If you carry on scrolling down, you'll see some screenshots um, of the game just to clarify that you are downloading the right one. And obviously if you want to see more more footage or whatever, you can go and check the gameplay footage of it on... on um, on YouTube. So you want to scroll back up and you want to locate this box here that says download and now you've got two options in here. You've got fast download for subscribed users and slow download for anonymous users. Obviously if you do not subscribe to the website your only option here is to slow download. The, the downside to slow downloading is not only is it really, really slow, but it only limits it limits you to five games a day. So you're only allowed to do five Dreamcast games within one 24-hour period. However, if you do subscribe, it's only $6 a month, and it gives you up to 10 megabyte uh, connection speed and unlimited downloads as much as you want. Now, if you're from England, you might be a bit funny playing with this whole the dollar scheme sort of thing. But um, I did it with PayPal, and it translates to three pound eighty-eight a month. Um, and after one month, you ain't going to need to download anymore. You're going to have downloaded everything you want in one month. So you kind of just unsubscribe if you want. Um, and so basically, you've got as many Dreamcast games as you want for three pound eighty-eight, and it's safe and secure as it is through PayPal. And that, as I say, that entitles you to the fast download, which will do this 487 megabyte in around 5 to 10 minutes. If you do slow download, this is going to take around an hour to download. But if you haven't got, the in, uh, if you haven't got access to PayPal or um, you don't feel secure doing it that way, we'll go through with the slow download and show you the way you do it anyway. So what you click is you click slow download. And here you can see I've got an error message. Basically, once you've downloaded one game on the slow download, as I say, you're only allowed to download five in one day. So you have to wait for the f other ones to finish downloading. So I started the download 28 minutes ago. That was when I was trying to do the last video. And I now I'm allowed to download again in four minutes. So that, that is the downside. As I say, you are limited to what you download with unlimited downloads. However, in four minutes time, I, you can click on download again and you will get the game for free. Once you click on the download and it does accept it, just click save to desktop. Don't save it anywhere else. Make sure you save it to desktop. And um, obviously don't don't click run. Make sure you click save. So once it's all done and dusted and downloaded onto your desktop, you'll have a file that looks like this with the name underneath. Um, obviously if you've done Daytona, it would say Daytona, but a file that I downloaded was Final Fantasy Origins on the PS1 because I have modded my PS2 as well to play PS1 games, uh, copied PS1 games and they work really well off of the um, the Bleem section. So it should look like this with the three little books, the WinRAR file. If it doesn't look like this, um, now is the time to install and download WinRAR. As I say, the link will be in the description box. It's a very small program to download and it's easy as hell to install and use. So you've got that. Right click on it and click extract here. Above it you'll have extract files and then you'll have extract files to blah blah blah. 
um, make sure you click extract here. What that'll do is it'll extract it to the desktop so you know exactly where the file is and there's only ever one file in these um, these folders anyway so it's not like it's going to clutter up your desktop. Occasionally some people will put in uh, the front cover and the back cover to the game and that but obviously that's not going to really mess your desktop up too much just delete them off if you don't want them. So this is the file and this is what it will look like, a little piece of paper with a gold disc on it. This is the image file that, that we're going to burn to the disc to play the game. Sometimes you will download files and the, the, the disc won't be gold, it will be silver. It says it's still an image file but I've, not, I've never had nothing but problems um, trying to burn the silver discs. So if it does download in a silver disc, locate another file or, um, or sort of try downloading it again. But I've never had a silver disc download off of the isozone.com. Um, it's always been all through other sites. So you've got that, Move it. keep it on the desktop. Then open your program, Disk Juggler. You'll have a 10 second message that you have to get rid of. Um, while this message is counting down, I'll tell you the disks that you have to use. You have to use standard blank CD minus R disks. So that's CD hyphen R, I'll put it in the description. Um, and they are just CD 700 megabyte standard music disks. People say that you need um, branded ones, but I've used cheap ones and branded ones and they both work absolutely perfectly so um, just go to like Tesco's get like 50 for a 10 or something stupid like that and just burn as many games as you want after you got rid of the welcome message you, your screen should look like this with this box here that says new task um, if it doesn't just click on the new little icon down here and it will bring up this box here it will show you how to create new DVDs burn new DVDs blah 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 so the first thing you want to do is you want to locate the fin second from bottom that says burn disk images above it it says create disk images so make sure you do not click that one if you create a disk image all you're doing is you're you're creating the image of this of this onto the disk if you burn the disk image you're burning the file onto the disk so that the dreamcast laser can read it so double click on burn disk image and it'll bring up a white box file like this this look may look a bit complicated but this is the easiest part and the final part to doing it so here, the top box here, it says source. Obviously, this means um, what what file you're going to be burning. So click on the little piece of paper with the silver disk, which looks exactly like the piece of paper on your desktop. Once you've done that, locate the file. If it doesn't come to your desktop already, obviously look in your desktop, and you'll see that your um, your downloaded and extracted file will be there. Double click that, and it brings it up here. As you can see, it says desktop Final Fantasy Origins. And then underneath it, it says Bleem, two sessions, two tracks. Obviously, it's a Bleemed disc, which means it can play on the Dreamcast. That's why it says that. And then here, you need to make sure it says two sessions, two tracks. If it says one session and two tracks, or two sessions and one track, it will still work, but you will need the Utopia boot disc. Again, I can put this uh, Utopia boot disc link in the description. All you do is go on Google and type in Utopia boot disc, if not, and, and you can download it that way but again I will put the link down so for it to be self booting you need two sessions and two tracks and then that'll be and that'll work fantastic and then from here all you do is you'll go down to this box here and you will put a blank disk into the disk drive at this point once you put the blank disk in and the the drivers registered that there's a disk in there the start bar the start button here will illuminate and allow you to press it by clicking on this, you're starting the process of burning, and it will give you a message that says, because you're using a free trial, you can only burn up to 700 megabyte. Do you want to continue? And it will say yes or no. Make sure you click yes, and then these cycle bar and cache bar right here will start filling up green. Once they get to 100%, they will slowly start trickling back down and empty out. As soon as they get to 0%, your disk should wrap up and pop out. And as soon as it's popped out, it means it's burnt perfectly and finished and ready to play so you can enjoy your gaming that you've just done. Occasionally an error message will pop up so I'll let you know now how to handle it. So you would click start here, it will say do you want to burn a game, you're limited to 700 megabyte burn blah blah blah, you'll click yes. Directly after this an error message will come up saying that there were some missing files in this game or the, this file, do you want us to try and locate them and uh, fix them ourselves and it will say something like yes, no and cancel. What you want to do is you want to make sure you click no because basically what it is the missing files are the files that patch the game so you can't play it um, copied if you click yes they will locate the files and they will patch them and therefore the game won't be able to play um, because it's not as classed not as a copied game 
So make sure you click no on the error message. Uh, I think I've had this message come up like one in every 30 games I downloaded. So it's very rare that it does come up. But if you do get it, don't panic. As I say, just click yes, I want to burn it. And then when the error message comes up, click no, I don't want to fix the, um, the, the, the patches. So there you go, guys. I hope this uh, video helped you easy enough. And I hope it was simple enough for you to use. You can just close the, game, uh, the program down after that. You don't want to save any changes. Throw all the files that you've just used in the recycle bin. Empty that out. Clear your desktop up. Shut your computer down and enjoy your new game. So uh, as I say, guys, I hope this was useful. If you have any questions whatsoever, let me know. Get it sent to me. And um, subscribe, rate, and comment. And thanks again, guys.